All you need is a little juju. All you need is a little juju. Hey y'all, welcome to another collaboration video with Real Talk Session Series and me, Juju Bay, here to bring you yet another educational video. Don't funk up part two. White bath edition. Let's get into it. So what is a white bath? We talked about spiritual baths in our previous video, so go check that out. But white baths are basically spiritual baths that we make that help with our mental health. They help with depression, they can help with PTSD, trauma, anxiety. Of course, white baths aren't the only method that we can use to help us with our mental health, but it is one of many tools to spiritually help alleviate some of the stress and traumas that kind of come with, you know, our lives and so white baths can help us cool our heads message so july is minority mental health month so i wanted to be sure that we talked about mental health today in a spiritual way to help alleviate some of the strains that kind of come with our mental health now of course this is just one way that I'm going to be talking about with white baths to help us deal with some anxieties and sadnesses that we may be feeling, but it is not the only way. So of course, this is a supplemental spiritual tool, but there's so many other tools that we should rely on, whether that's medication or therapy or whatever it is that you need. So don't be afraid to seek help uh, for your mental health problems, but this is just one way to help alleviate. And now back to your regularly scheduled program. I learned about white baths from my first spiritual house, um, an Orisha house, a Lukumi house more specifically. And this is how we made white baths. Well, this isn't exactly how, but this is very similar to how we made white baths in my house. And so if we needed to cool our head or our ori, as we call it in Orisha tradition, um, we would make white baths in order to, to do that. So I'm going to show you all a very simple white bath. It's so easy and it's extremely effective which is why we love it over here so as you can see I just have a jar here it has cool water in it it's not special water it's not prayed over yet it's just some cool water from the tap you can use purified water any kind of water that you like I also have some agua florida some Florida water which will just add a splash of at the end I have some leche de coco a coconut milk a canned coconut milk and I have white flowers. So we're also gonna just put a few white flower petals in that bath as well. Um, for the coconut milk, you don't have to use coconut milk. Some other milks that people use is goat's milk, cow's milk, almond milk, anything, you know, white milk, I think is, is totally fine. But traditionally, how I learned it was to use coconut milk because coconuts help with cooling our heads and bringing peace to our headspace. So I have my glass of water here, my jar. I'm gonna add just a little bit of coconut milk in here. So I have my glass of water here. I'm gonna use some coconut milk as well. Now my coconut milk is very thick right now, so I'm just putting just my spoon in here. And I'm gonna drop it in there, not too much. And I'm just gonna mix it up. Now again, you can use regular milk, so you don't have to go through this whole process but I just wanted to use canned coconut milk because I just like canned coconut milk okay and then we can kind of get some of that water out too from the coconut milk once we broke through that first thick layer okay so then after that I'm going to put some white flower petals in there White flower petals are also used to help bring peace and calmness to our headspace. Pretty much white ingredients is what you're gonna to want to use um, because white represents clarity and that's what we're, we're seeking. So I'm gonna just pick a few petals off and put that in there. Just putting them directly into the bag. And while we're doing this, we're speaking or I'm thinking positive thoughts about myself. I'm speaking positive thoughts over my mental health. I'm speaking of wanting peace in my life, peace in my head, and to be washed and rid of any 
negative noise that may be existing within my body, existing within my mind. So I'm saying all of this as I'm pulling the flowers off and creating this bag. So I'm gonna push some of those flowers into. Now, I don't have any, I thought I did, but there's something called EFUN, E-F-U-N, or Cascaria, which is the Spanish word for C-A-S-C-A-R-I-L-L-A. -L -L -A. And it is basically, it looks like chalk. And sometimes we put cascaria or efun in our white baths as well. Um, it's, it's ground up eggshells, that's what cascaria is. We use it in Orisha tradition to cleanse, to protect, uh, to set boundaries. So it's really, really great to put in your white bath. So if you have efun or cascaria, I would add just some sprinkle of that in there as well. I don't have it. And you know, we, we use what we got over here. So, but if you do have it, use that. And then lastly, I'm just gonna add a splash of Florida water. Florida water is good for cleansing. It is good for washing away. And so we're trying to wash away some of the, the as I said before, like the negative noise that we have or the things that just make us feel sad. We're trying to wash that out of our minds. And so Florida water is a good ingredient to add to our white bath. So I just do a little pour there, not too much. And again, the whole time I'm thinking positive thoughts about myself. Now, if I had a top, if I could find my top, I would put my top on here and I would shake it up. And as I'm shaking it up, I would be praying. I'll be praying over my head. I'll be praying that this bath works that it will help me in dealing with any sadnesses that I'm feeling, any anxiety that's going on in my head. And so once you're done shaking it up and praying over it, you have your white bath. Now, how you would take this white bath is you would use it after you take your regular shower, typically, or bath. Then you would pull out your white bath and you would pray, set your intention, why are you using the bath? And you would dump it directly over your head. Now I know people always ask, you mean I have to get it in my hair? I gotta get my, my weave wet? Yes, because this is a white bath, it's specifically for your head. So you want to make sure that if nothing else is covered, your head is covered. So this bath is gonna go directly over your head, preferably touching your scalp, and you can let it air dry or you can pat dry. It, it depends, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then that's it. So some people take this bath for one day if they need to, three days, nine days. I typically do odd numbers when I'm taking a white bath. But you take it as many days as you feel like you need to. If you feel like you need another round, do it as much as you can. You can make a ritual out of it and do it regularly or weekly. You can't go wrong, you can't take too many white baths. We can't take too many things that will help us with our minds. Um, and having clear and, and positive and sound minds. Um, and that's it, this is, this is our white bath. Um, it's so simple and it is extremely effective. And that's it. So that's all I have today. Let me know how you liked this video in the comments and let me know if you want to go take a white bath yourself. I'm over here smelling, it smells so good. I can't wait to take this. Um, thank you all for checking out this video. Don't forget to check out A Little Juju Podcast, my podcast where I talk a lot about white bats and other bats there on all streaming platforms, as well as the Miseducation of the People podcast, everywhere you can find podcasts. And head on over to get your merch. I have on some merch, some Real Talk Session Series merch uh, with this shirt here. And the money and proceeds from that go towards producing video content just like these. So if you like these videos, go purchase some merch to keep them coming. And remember, don't funk up. Take care of your mental health. Take your white baths and take care of you. And remember, all you need is a little juju.